What is up guys, welcome back to the channel, this is Dr. Hammerstein and today we got a new phone over here and the younger brother of the Honor 200 Pro and this is of course the Honor 200 Lite. So in today's video what we're going to do is of course go through the key specs and features of this amazing phone over here and of course just to give you guys a brief overview of how this phone is before you make your purchase decision. So yes, without further ado, let's just get right into it. Alright, so right off the box over here we do have the SIM ejector tool. And also we do have the Honor Supercharger over here which does max out at 35 watts and also does use a USB-A to USB-C cable. And also here we do have a nice clear phone case right off the box. So here in Malaysia, the Honor 200 Lite only goes for 1299 ring in Malaysia which would place it at about the $300 mark. As you can see, it does come in a very shiny sparkly bag over here. You can of course use the clear phone case or even use it naked over here. It does look really, really nice. So first thing you will notice comparing this to the Honor 200 Pro is that the sides here are a little bit more squarish compared to the 200 Pro which does have more of a curved design. The camera layout as well is very different compared to the older and also the more advanced brother over here. But other than that, it's about the same. You have your power button and also your volume rockers on the same side. Very clean on the other side, except for the same ejector slot over here. You have your USB-C for charging and also your downfine speaker over here. And as you can see, it is a very, very flat design, which is something I really do like. And also when it comes to the pill shape hole over here, you have a very tiny hole down right the center and all looking all really, really nice. And again, like I mentioned, it does have some nice texture to the back over here. So as you can see, as you move it around, you can see the sparkles on it go around. And it does have a nice aluminium frame, alloy frame on the sides here. Not an aluminium frame, an alloy frame on the sides. On the back here, it does feel a little bit of a plastic film, but it does feel very, very sturdy. As you can see there, it's very, very hard. Does have a good weight to it again as well so it's really really cool and uh yeah just overall a very good sturdy phone overall all right so now moving on to the display of this phone over here so it does come with a massive 6.7 inch amoled panel over here it is of course 90 hertz not your typical 120 hertz but it does feel feel very very smooth and buttery i would say and as you can see from the bezels over here it's not too thick but it's not too thin either and i would say it's actually very very nicely balanced in case if you want to do it for your gaming sessions or whatsoever you're not going to get a lot of accidental touches because of all the bezels that we have here but it still does offer you a very very large display and as i mentioned before it does come with a very nice flat panel over here to give you a more enjoyable experience when it comes to swiping or just moving around the phone over here one more thing to note is when it comes to the speakers over here it only does have a downfiring speaker no stereo speaker setup with this which is a little bit of a bummer because you do have an amazing display and other than that of course when it comes to brightness it can max out at 2000 nits so that's a very very bright display especially for people like me here in sunny Malaysia. Okay, and also one more thing to note is that the fingerprint scanner is located at the side over here, which works really, really fast. All you need to do is just gently just go over the button here, the power button, and it gets the job done really, really nicely. And of course, if we go on to the face unlock here as well, you can see that I just need to point it to my face, gets the job done. One more time, boom, you are right in. And of course, if we want to talk about the internal hardware over here, this is of course powered by the MediaTek Dimensity 6018. So it's not your flagship level processor, but still a very good processor in terms of just multitasking, doing some heavy stuff here and there. And of course, if you want to boost up your performance, you can use the RAM turbo feature over here. So it does give you 12 gigs, but of course you can expand it with a further 8 gigs to give you a total of 20. And of course, in terms of storage over here, I do have the 256, but you can of course buy the 500 12 gigs variant over here no problems whatsoever and when it comes to the battery size over here it does give you a massive massive battery over here a 4500 milliampere battery and of course you can power this up with the 35 watt on a supercharger and of course if we talk about the software side of things it does come with magic os 8.0 which is of course on top of Android 14. And what I like about this is that they've introduced the Magic Capsule feature that we have seen on the phones like the Magic 6 Pro and the 200 Pro here as well. So you can use this top button here for your volume controls or when you're watching some YouTube or if you're gonna watch some 
hear some music through your Spotify whatsoever. You can actually use this feature over here, the microphones whatsoever. Really, really cool. And it does give you a lot of cool magic AI features over here as well, which we have seen with the other phone models with the on the phones here as well and as i mentioned i do like a lot of the cool features that we have here we have this we have the dock feature here as well very complete phone i would say at this price point okay and of course last but not least let's talk about the cameras on this phone over here so like as i mentioned before it does come with the magic capsule on the center here and what's really interesting about the selfie camera over here the nice 15 megapixel f 2.1 lens is that you do have a very cool option to actually use the double feature here. So you can use one times or a wider view here, 0.8 times to give you more people in your frame. And of course, if we want to go on to the rear cameras over here, it does come with a nice triple camera setup. So you do have your 108 megapixel f1.8 sensor with dual autofocus and you also do have your ultra wide lens over here 5 megapixel f2.2 and a macro shooter here a 2 megapixel f2.4 lens and what is really interesting about this phone is that when it comes to portraits here as well you do have the three focal lengths here so you can actually go for nearer or even much nearer to give you a more dramatic effect depending on how you want to take your portraits over here so that would be really interesting when i do it in my final review first you do have your patches here to change what kind of kind of bokeh effect you want to have when you're taking your shots whether you want to go all maxed out or a little bit more lighter on that and also you have your photo video multi-video here as well really really fun and also you do have some other cool features here as well all right guys so that is it with the honor 200 light let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about this phone and if you guys if you want to share with your opinions as well do so in the comment section if you guys enjoyed this video do click the like and smash the subscribe button i will see you guys in the next one